what is up guys, Trex here, and welcome back to another episode of Terraria 1.2 with TrexW. We're back in the 1.2 Let's Play World for episode 101. Obviously, the last episode was episode 100, which was, which was the big, long, one hour and a half special, where we fought every boss, we fought this entire, this entire series, and so we fought every single boss in the game, except for one. We have never fought the Frost Moon. That is the last boss that we have to fight before we beat Terraria 1.2. So yeah, that that's all we have left, essentially. Um, of course, I believe that, we, yeah, we essentially have the best gear, we have the best armor, we have the best sword, we have, like, I guess the best, the next best thing we can get is the, uh, the axe, which is better than the, uh, godly glorified jackhammer, but still, we are very close to the end game and all we have left is to fight the frost moon obviously i've fought it once before off camera um but that was quickly so that i could get the razor pine but that's all that i've done and so to beat it actually we need to reach wave 15 or something and so in order to actually summon the frost moon we're going to need to get naughty presence and the way we get naughty presence is with five souls of fright five ectoplasm and 20 silk. So let's see what all we have. I know that we've got plenty of souls because we just fought all of those, um, all of the bosses in the last episode. So yeah, 72 souls of fright, 56 souls of sight, and 68 souls of might. So let's just take out these five souls of fright. Let's actually take out 10 so we can make two naughty presents in case the worst comes to the worst. Let's check the materials. Oh, and we only have two ectoplasm. We're gonna need to get eight more from the dungeon, and then the silk, where is the silk, that'd be under cloth, uh, and we have plenty of it, we're just gonna need to get 40 of that real quick, and so this should help us make a naughty, a naughty present, we just need to get more ectoplasm, and so, what we're going to do, is we're going to use our brand new metro line, and we're going to go and hit up the dungeon, so that we can, ooh, and walk across this nice bridge, we're gonna hit up the dungeon so that we can get eight more ectoplasm so that we can make these um these naughty presents. So let's just go down through our metro, which is looking pretty swanky. I just need to finish it off. And let's go through the dungeon express and we'll just head off. So now I can sit back, crack my knuckles, take a drink of water, don't have to press right on the keyboard anymore or left on the keyboard. Because the metro will take me wherever I need to go. And in this case, where I need to go is the dungeon. We are almost here. We're passing through that crimson cave. And we should start sloping up. Yep, there we go. Sloping up. And, well, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached our destination. Please keep all hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. And we have reached the dungeon. Now, I believe every... I believe every mob killed has an 8% chance of becoming a ghost and and so um becoming or giving us ectoplasm I don't know for sure so some of you wiki buffs will probably correct me in the comments but yeah I think it's something like that but we should be getting plenty of ectoplasm in not too uh not in a fairly short amount of time but we just need to get ghosts, and I never get to see, I never get to see the ghosts themselves because my total first world terrier problem. My swords are too powerful for me to actually see the ghosts when I kill my enemies. Um, so yeah, that's that's an issue I have. Uh, I, I really do wonder what they look like. I suppose I could look one up on the um, on the old wiki, but no, that would require me typing stuff. And everybody knows that typing stuff is bad. So anyways, we have plenty of Hell Armored Bones, or whatever they're called, approaching us. Yep. I still don't see any ghosts yet. We need we need 100% more Bill Murray and Harold Ramis and um, whoever that guy was. The fat one that people like to poke fun at. I forgot his name. And, no, that wasn't Mike Myers. I was thinking... No, never mind. Anyways, um... Any ghosts yet? No. Oh, oh wait, we did get some ghosts because we have four ectoplasm, so we need so we only need six more. Alright. Let's see what we have got here. We have just a conspicuous water candle sitting all by itself at a table. 
Oh, I know that feeling, bro. I know that feeling. <laughs> Anyways, um... Uh, eighth grade memories. What a fun time in my life, and why I totally didn't go home and cry every Friday night because all my friends were out partying. Yeah, well, partying. It was eighth grade. They were, like, doing finger paintings and stuff. What is a wisp in a bottle? What did we just... What? 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 What is this wisp in a bottle you speak of? Someone's... What? <gasps> Okay, I think our pixie is going to have to get replaced now because we have an awesome wisp in a bottle. Yep, yeah, pixie, pixie is totally getting replaced. Goodbye, fairy bell. I never loved you anyways. You were very slow and never really provided that much light. So I'm sorry, but we now have this wisp in a bottle, which is so cool. Come on, necromancer staff. Dang it. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Oh gosh, uh, he has an RPG. Let's um. Hey, we actually got a rocket launcher. Is that a is that a hundred percent chance drop from these things, or is it only every so often? Oh, five ectoplasm now, so we are halfway there. All right. So rocket launcher, how what what how often do you get that from those guys? Is it every time? I don't know. Um, we've got an army coming down. Oh, we are slowly losing life, and I just noticed it. Let's just heal up. Any ghosts yet? Nope. Still down to five ectoplasm. See, I'm gaining ectoplasm, but I'm not seeing anything that I'm killing. It's annoying because I, I don't get to see the ghosts. I want to. Let's use our pumpkin blade. Get him. Nope. Still no ghost. Oh, that makes me sad. Yeah, this is a uh, auto swing. Forgot about that sometimes. So it's easier to just go through and mow through enemies. Surely we'll get some ectoplasm from one of these slimes down here because there's so many that come out of them or something. No, I'm thinking of other other slimes. Oh, we are down to 50 health. Still, 5 ectoplasm though. We're halfway there. That's enough for one naughty present. Um, but I think we kind of need two just for uh, reasons. I want to jump down here. Oh, what are you doing, you stupid necromancer or whatever you are? Hey, ectoplasm! Alright, we're up to six. Yep, six. Alright. Um, what else have we got? We have plenty of blue armored bones over there. I think I'm going to uh, check them out. Let's see. Whoa, whoa, I just heard a buzzing noise from the game. Oh my, oh my. There are a lot of... There are two rocket launchers. Hey, hey, I think I saw a ghost for a second. But, uh, we're up to eight ectoplasm. We just need two more. And, hey! There's a ghost. Okay, we have all ten ectoplasm that we need, and I think I actually saw some ghosts. So, anyways. Yeah, let's see. How do we craft the naughty present? I believe it's at the mithril or uricalum anvil. Yes, it is. So, two naughty presents. There we go. And also, ooh, we got a key brand. I like the key brand so much. It's a really cool looking sword. I'm just gonna keep this one in here. Just because key brands are so cool, let's put the rest of this stuff up. But yeah, guys, we got our two naughty presents, so that is useful because we will be able to fight the Frost Moon, and we will be able to fight it twice. Um, so if we mess up the first time, we have a second chance at redemption. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this episode. Uh, we accomplished that goal. Uh, this episode was pre-recorded. This is was recorded on Tuesday night, it's going up on Wednesday night, and Wednesday I've got to record an episode of Cherry Living Underground, as well as a regular episode of this, and so that for when I'm gone for the next two weeks, you guys will have videos, and it will seem like I was always there, so guys, thank you all so much for watching, I'm sorry that I can't do many live videos, and that they're all going to be pre-recorded in the upcoming weeks, but anyways guys, thank you all for watching, I will see you all next time. If you liked the video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. The next episode of Terraria will be Terraria Living Underground. That will be up Friday, although it won't be live. There will be an episode of Terraria Living Underground next week as well as another episode of Terraria 1.2. And then tomorrow, which will be Thursday by the time you're watching this, but Wednesday for me, will be an episode of the 100,000 Block Journey. So anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.